transformations, the principal physical transformations that may occur in the operation of solid waste management cessation to mechanical volume reduction and three mechanical size reduction. Physical transformations do not involve a change in phase e.g. solid to gas, unlike chemical and biological transformation processes. Chemical transformations Chemical transformations of solid waste typically involve a change of phase e.g. solid to liquid, solid to gas, etc. To reduce the volume and or to recover conversion products, the principal chemical processes used to transform MSW include 1. Combustion chemical oxidation, 2. Pyrolysis, and 3. Gasification. All three of these processes are often classified as thermal processes. Biological transformations The biological transformations of the organic fraction of MSW may be used to reduce the volume and weight of the material to produce compost, a humus-like material that can be used as a soil conditioner to produce methane. The principal organisms involved in the biological transformations of organic wastes are bacteria, fungi, yeasts, actinomyces, biological processes that have been used for the conversion of the organic fraction of MSW include 1. Aerobic composting 2. Anaerobic digestion and 3. High solids anaerobic digestion. Importance of transformation Typically waste transformations are used. To improve the efficiency of solid waste management systems to recover reusable and recyclable materials, to recover conversion products and energize organic fraction of effects and ultimately to energy in a number of ways including Component percent by mass energy kJ kilogram moisture content paper 40177 Seven O six cardboard one two one five eight O five plastic one two one six four O two goods waste one six five thousand two O garden waste eight seven thousand six O six one nine thousand two O tin can six six hundred three cal generation rates solid waste generation rates estimate the amount of waste created by residences or business the energy content of solid waste sample for the composition given below. What is the over a tenth on dry basis and ash free dry basin. In amount of this in composite day, one unit energy content equals one three five oh eight oh one hundred equals thirteen thousand five hundred and eight kilojoules kilogram. Estimate the density of solid waste sample with the form ETC. Waste generation includes all materials discarded, whether or not they are later recycled or disposed in a landfill. Waste generation rates for residential and commercial activities can be used to estimate the impact of new developments on the local waste stream. Current global MSW generation levels are approximately 1.3 billion tons per year, and are expected to increase to approximately 2.2 billion tons per year by 2025. This represents a significant increase in per capita waste generation rates from 1.2 to 1.42 kilograms per person per day in the next 15 years. Global averages are broad estimates only as rates vary considerably by region, country, city, and even within cities. MSW generation rates are influenced by economic development, the degree of industrialization, public habits, and local climate. Generally, the higher the economic development and rate of urbanization, the greater the amount of solid waste produced. Income level and urbanization are highly correlated as income and living standards increase, Consumption of goods and services correspondingly increases, as does the amount of waste generated. Urban residents produce about twice as much waste as their rural counterparts. Methods used to estimate MSW. Factors affecting the generation rate.
Typical commercial and industrial unit waste generation rates are Office building 0 5 to 1 1 kg employee day restaurant 0 2 to 0 8 kg customer day canned and frozen food 0 4 